to naturalprepper.com here. And uh, I was sitting around last night thinking about my bug out bag and what if. Yep. Gonna have to excuse the guineas over there. <laughs> but, um, you know, I've been pretty confident about the contents of my bug out bag, but I thought, do I really know how to start a fire? And I have a little bag here specifically for starting fires with. So. Fire bugs and matches. First thing I'm going to do is build a little bit of a small uh, fire teepee on some of the smaller kindling. I'm sure I'm going to get lots of input on how I'm doing this after this is done. <laughs> but feel free to comment because normally I would just, you know, have my lighter and some paper, but at least I've got some, well, these leaves are kind of wet, actually. Some of them are. Yeah, the leaves are all wet. Let's see if I can do it with one of these uh, wax earbugs. Basically, it's just cotton with wax poured over it. I've never actually tried to use one of these. So, I'm going to set that down there. Okay, so I've got, uh, like I said, this uh, ear earbug is what they call it. And it's a cotton ball with wax melted onto it. And I'm going to put that right up underneath where I want to start my fire at. And I have my waterproof matches. It is in a matchbox. It comes with a little flint on the bottom. That obviously, I now know, doesn't work. <laughs> There you go. Good old rock. That's a better way to do it. So I wound up having, I had to strike the match on a rock because this match box carrier has a flint on the bottom, but it did not strike the match. But my little fire bug is going there. So I'm going to try to get a couple of things in there just to get it built up to catch this, these sticks on fire, which I think actually I hear it cracking. He's already doing it. I can tell you right now, if I did not have that earbud, I could have used, um, I can't remember what this is called. Uh, I'll have to look it up again. Sterno. Sterno, yeah. Um, I would have had to have used that. But if I didn't have one of these two things, I'm not really sure how I would start fire, to be honest with you. <laughs> so I might want to put some more of those uh, earbuds in my bug out bag, which I think I might try um, a couple of the videos that I've watched. People have talked about using egg cartons and putting cotton balls down in there and making the earbuds in there, so I might give that a try. Let's see if I can make me some more. But that little earbud is really doing a good job. It's still like barely burning the outside of the uh, cotton ball. That until you've given it a try, you don't really know if you can do it or not. You don't really know how to do it until you do it. And it's probably a better idea especially if you haven't spent a whole lot of time out camping and stuff, to go on and get in your backyard and do some of these things like this. So, we'll come back to you a little bit later. I know you can't really see the little bit of smoke coming up too much yet, but just so you know, my earbud burned out in, I would say, about two minutes tops and it wasn't quite enough because everything's wet and damp so I did have to get that sterno out and I've got that in there now 
Okay, so I wound up using one earbud, uh, the wax with cotton ball, one full sterno, and four or five of my Strike Anywhere matches, which was a lot more than I intended to use. Um, that match box that I've got only holds 20 matches, and I only had two earbuds, and I've only got two more sternos left. So, as it stands right now with what I've got, this fire plus one other would be all I'd be able to start, and that's probably not good if I'm off in the woods, lost, or on a bug out scenario. But now I'm going to try and build up some coals and see if I can make myself some hot chocolate or some soup or something with what's in my bug out. Bag. So I was gonna make my hot top my hot chocolate and realized I didn't have a spoon in my bag. Of course there was an old spoon on the ground, so I was just gonna clean that up. But as I went to go get the spoon, I knocked my water right onto the fire, put half the fire out, and that was the last little bit of water that I had on me. So, today's lesson <laughs> is you guys are right, do it a few times so you know how to do it, get it right. I know now I need to go in and get my spork spoon, make some more earbuds, get some more matches, and, um, Try it again maybe in a day or two. Okay, okay so tomorrow be sure to check back because I'm going to make Mike come out here and show me how he knows how to start a fire. And I'm going to fix my bug out bag and uh, put, put the spoon in there. And like I said, we're going to work on making some more uh, earbuds and stuff. So, see you guys tomorrow.